remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I posted a video a few days ago asking God why he didn't take Charles Barkley, and some of you took exception to it. In the wake of the late, great Kobe Bryant dying tragically, suddenly, young, a lot of people are in pain all over the world. Some people are saying it feels like the loss of a family member. I agree. Kobe was a good dude. So much so that some people are questioning God. I got a question for God too. Why Kobe? How come you didn't take Charles Barkley? After having some time to think about it, I'm man enough to admit I was wrong. What I should have did was ask him why he didn't take Charles Barkley, Silk and Diamond, Jason Whitlock, Candace Owen, fill in the Sambo blank. See, the difference between me and some of you is that you base who you're for or against on somebody's stature or skin color. Me, I base mine on the content of their character. I don't care how much money you have, what your position in society is, how cute you are. What kind of person are you is what matters to me. There's three type of people who was caping for Charles Barkley. The Magus, the start with C, rhyme with moon types, and the misinformed. I'm going to direct this video to the misinformed because the other two can't be saved. For those of you who want to know why I ask, why not Charles Barkley? Charles Barkley has a history of disparaging the black community and going against the best interest of the black community. When the grand jury refused to indict Officer Darren Wilson in the cold-blooded murder of teenager Michael Brown, Charles Barkley not only agreed with the decision, when the people took to the streets to protest and demand justice, some rioting, he called them scumbags. Many of you who call yourself coming for me, well, you shouldn't wish death on people, you shouldn't wish death. Y'all the same ones who have wished death on Trump. The same ones who wished death on George Zimmerman. Well, guess who agreed with the jury's decision to acquit George Zimmerman from killing Trayvon Martin? Ding, 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 you guessed it. Your boy, Charles Barkley. This is the same clown who said, slavery was not one of the worst things to ever happen. If you are a decent person, if you are black, name me one thing that was worse than slavery. Even if you could name a few, slavery has to be on that list. Africans were made to walk hundreds of miles in chains. They were beaten, poorly fed, brutalized in ways you couldn't even imagine. Women, girls, boys, men were raped the whole continent was ravished and still has not recovered to this day. Charles Barkley is the antithesis of the black community. The networks pay him to be the black face of white supremacy. To be a white supremacist, you don't have to be white. All you have to do is do their bidding and think like them. Now, for all of you people out there that's in support of me, that's in the know, I appreciate you. Salute. For the rest of you that's on the blogs, commenting, talking down on my IG, all in my inbox, you don't wish death on nobody. You got to watch what you put into the universe. Let me tell you something. You get what you get by the actions you commit. I don't care how much praying and hoping and wishing you do. If you don't follow that up with action, it don't mean nothing. Some of you out there saying things like, well, you know, that man got a family. You know, what if somebody said that about you? You know, it could happen to your family. So let me get this straight. If I don't wish death 
on anyone. All of my family members and loved ones are going to live forever. Listen, I'm not afraid of the boogeyman. I'm a realist. Next time, before you jump out there caping for anyone, make sure you know the record of the person you're trying to save. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? <laughs>